Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. About 10 years ago, I first learned about Charles Price, who occasionally came to music to end up to also open this program. And it was fascinating for me to learn about Charles Price, to learn about an African American woman composing classical music. And this interest stayed with me for a very long time. And as I began to dig deeper into who she was, and into what her music was all about, I realized that, yes, she was the first African-American composer to achieve national and international success, but she was not the only one. She was part of a community of African-American women that supported her, that composed with her, that promoted her work. You might know that the Chicago Symphony premiered her work in her symphony minor in 1933, but without the president of the Chicago Music Association
feel the energy of Florence Price and Margaret Bonds. I was alive, actually, but I never met either one of them. I think my mother wanted me to study with Margaret Bonds, but that didn't happen. I went to Howard for two years after I finished high school here, and then I wanted always to go to Oakland, so I went there. But uh, the main thing I want to say about my particular piece, Takata, um, I studied basic the all classical and at Oberlin at the time I was there, jazz, there is now there. But what I experienced in Cleveland is some of the reason why, some of the reason why I wrote the Takata. Because I was very fortunate there to listen to a lot of the piano competitions, starting with the international competition for, uh, that um, uh, Robert Cut. Kadetsu uh, originated in Cleveland, Ohio, at the Cleveland Institute of Music. And we were, you know, students, but as people within the community, you could go and listen to all the fantastic uh, contestants. And they applied from all over the world. We had people from Russia, from France, and everything. And of course, we heard a lot of Robert Kassetsu's Takata, right? And, you know, I really got to, I mean, it's a dead end for Kofi of Takata, and there's so many. Uh, I'm really, I call myself fairly universal. I was born here. I'm African American, but I got to experience an awful lot. My husband being in the Cleveland Orchestra for 38 years, I experienced going to concerts all the time when we first went there. So I got to hear a lot of pianists, okay? And I heard a lot of Takata, and that's where I got the basic idea from the Takata that I wrote. And I've written about three Takata, and like them all. And uh, I am definitely a person that believes in the, in the uh, coordination, collaboration of the arts. My art was in, in uh, theater, and uh, basically a lot of it, of her experiences were in the visual arts, and so the combination of music and art and theater and dance. I love the Almanelli, so it's just all, you know, it's all wonderful to me. It's been my life. I was the only child, so I was given something, some, uh, probably people might say privileges, but anyway, I have tried to bring back and, and bring back to the community. I'm really glad to be here. Um, when my mother died, I came back to Chicago and lived here for um, about three or four years, and I had the wonderful experience of being at the CMA. <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic with Barbara Roy Pryor, and then also I experienced the six degrees with uh, Regina. It was wonderful. So that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Let's give one last round of applause.